Welcome back to DIY with KB. My name is Kiva. My name is Anne. And I teach people how to achieve the luxe look for less. In today's video, we are tackling our own home. Yes, we tackled our guest room, which before looked horrible, but horrible. now is much, much better. Yes, this room was green, it was blue, it was every color of the rainbow. And, <laughs> and now it's white. <laughs> now it's white, and we should have started with white. Before we get into today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want me to design your home, click the link in the description box for my virtual design sessions. Now let's get into today's transformation. So like we said, um, the room was kind of a disaster. It really turned into like a storage room for yeah, us. like a clutter room for us. Mm -hmm. And we hadn't really done it since we moved into this place, period. We hadn't really made it into a guest room. So it was like our last final room to tackle. Yeah, and since there had been so many renditions of this room and we couldn't decide on something we wanted, we wanted this to make the, it the most luxurious room in the house. That's where our parents stay, that's where our guests stay, and we kind of just like want to make them feel nice and special. So this is definitely one of the more expensive transformations that we've done on this channel, but you will also see a lot of low-end items, and this just shows that you have to combine low-end and high-end items to achieve that great look. It can't all be cheap, but it also all doesn't have to be expensive. So to start, we really wanted to change the color of the rim. So all of the walls in our house are worldly gray by Sharon Williams. That's just how they painted it before we moved in because our home was new construction. Um, and it, it's just like a dark color. It really works in this space because we have really tall ceilings and we have these beautiful windows, but in that room, it just was like yeah. dungeon Yeah, and vibes. it is the dark, by far the darkest room of our house. The lighting is poor. The windows really get no natural light. Mm -hmm. And the two windows that we do have is right in someone's actual like backyard. So they can just like stare at you and like who wants them. <laughs> um, so we decided to go with white. And to choose a white paint color, we actually went with Pure White by PPG Paints, and that was a really intentional decision for us. Number one, we wanted a true white because we didn't want it to be a warm white because this is like a warm color and it looks kind of like brown and dark. True, and, and we wanted to be as white as possible because it would really brighten the room as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And then we also got this pink, being completely honest, because like it was Sunday, so all the paint stores were closed. True. And Home Depot <laughs> just had it right on the shelf and we just pulled it right <laughs> off and took it home. We are in the room, it's empty, there's an echo, and tomorrow is furniture delivery day. And we are so stoked for that, but we have a dilemma. So when I did the plans for this room, I kind of imagined it for like the bed to be on this wall and then this wall to be where I have the fireplace and all of that. But the dilemma is that if I have the bed on this wall, the bed is off center and therefore my fireplace and stuff also kind of looks off center when you're sitting in the bed. But when you're standing at the door, it does look in the center. It seems like a really small issue, but it's really going to impact the guest experience. Okay, you guys, the furniture just got delivered and I am super excited. So I decided to go with the Brock poster bed and then the Brock dresser. And I know you're like, what? Matching stuff? So I love black and white. Black and white is my thing. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. It's what I love. So I went with black and white and I wanted the furniture to be the black because I'm not going to paint my walls black. So now that the furniture is here, I'm going to like put things up so that I can envision the space and make sure that like my vision matches up with my mood board. I'll show you my mood board right here. I feel pretty confident in it, but I wanna make sure it makes sense. As you guys know, the dilemma was, was I gonna put the bed on this wall or that wall? It ended up on this wall. I think that's what's gonna be best because I wanna make sure that you can also see the dresser um, when you come in the room and stuff like that. So we'll see how it pans out. I got so excited, I'm out of breath. <sighs> So the way I'm feeling right now is having these two paintings right in this space is kind of cluttered for me, which I wasn't anticipating and I don't totally love. So I need to, let me go get the um, lamps, put them on the side table and figure out how I feel. The other thing that's throwing me off is this chair because 
since the bed was gonna be on the other side, we were gonna have like a little seating area, but now there's not room for that. So let's reconfigure some things and see what we think. So right now, it definitely feels cluttered to me, but again, I have the ladder in here, I have all the stuff on this side, um, so I think that once I clear out the room, it'll make me feel a little bit better. What I want to do now is put the mattress down. So my wife said, Kiva, definitely don't do that without me, you're going to hurt yourself. Um, and I said, of course, babe, I'm not going to do it, and I'm still going to do it because I'm impatient and I just want to see what it's going to look like. All the furniture arrived yesterday, so now we're sort of figuring out everything else in the room. We're seeing it for the first time with everything actually in here, and we're really happy with everything. We are just thinking about um, what's gonna go on the walls and what art we want, so we're trying mm -hmm. to like settle down on what layout we want, and then we can figure everything else out. Yeah. Because my concern right now is like, we got this beautiful mantle. If you've been with us for a while, I think it was in a vlog from like December, we talked about how we got this mantle that was originally $3,000. That's how much it's going True. for on first dibs for yeah. like only $300 on Facebook Marketplace. So we wanna make it like a statement piece in the room or like a mm -hmm. focal point. And since we switch where the bed is, it's kind of just getting lost in the white wall. So we think if we move it, it'll look better. Um, what we actually did when we first got this is we put it on furniture pads and it's just been on furniture True. pads. So we can move it very easily and it doesn't scratch the floor, though we've never moved our house one. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so I think it looks really nice when it's over here. I think the room even feels bigger, and I think we don't have two like darker pieces of furniture right next to each other, so it takes up the room really nicely, and I think that this wall with just the dresser, Kiva will do a lot of like cool art on it, and it'll be a really big statement. Okay, so we are hanging these mirrors, and to make sure that they are the exact same height on either side, what we just use is we use some type of like spacer, so we just have these two books, so the right height for what we want to do. So we're just going to use them on this side and the other side to make sure that the height is perfect instead of having to measure where we were definitely just going to mess it up. Okay, so we just got the mirrors up. Here they are. They have tons of fingerprints all over them because I had to put my grimy fingers on them to kind of figure out where everything was gonna go. Now I'm gonna put the lamps back so you can see how it looks. the next day this project is taking me longer than it normally does but it has given me time to make sure that everything is going perfectly at least perfectly for my family so next we're moving on to bedding in terms of sheets i just went with the wham sutta sateen sheets um, i absolutely love them they're really nice and slippery and i think they're great um, for a guest room because they're only 35 dollars, but they feel really luxurious now of course i want to keep the bedding black and white because black and white are my colors and that's just like what i like so leave me alone <laughs> but I wanted to do something with that has a lot of texture because when you have such a simple color palette, you really need to bring it with the texture so it doesn't seem flat. So what I decided to do was actually go in with the Casa Luna quilt. So many of you know I'm not a huge fan of Casa Luna because I just feel like the quality isn't necessarily there, but I've never tried their quilt before, so that's what I'm giving a try today. Um, and I'm gonna use it actually as like a coverlet. So I'm gonna put it underneath so that I can fold it down onto my really nice white duvet. In terms of a duvet, I splurged a little bit and I actually am going with oversized because if I don't like it in this room, I'm gonna put it in our bedroom and I'm gonna be super happy about it. But it is the Belgian linen duvet cover from West Elm. 
These sheets, I mean, this duvet cover has gotten so much praise online. So I have the sheets, so I just really wanted to give them a try. So that's what we're gonna do. Then I'm gonna dress the bed with throw pillows. If you know me, you know, I'm going in with the Ikea Fajadra throw pillows. And for the pillowcases, I'm actually going to be using Restoration Hardware $198 pillowcases and also Ikea $5 pillowcases. So this is going to be the ultimate mixing high and low end items in a room to get that luxe look for less. Now, did I need to spend $198 on the throw pillows? No, but I did it and then I failed to return them in time. <laughs> so here we go. Let's Welcome to the newly finished guest bedroom. We're gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough because I want you to see all of the items that we picked up. As we go throughout the room, you're going to see some pieces that were very, very expensive because that's what we wanted to invest in. We had some things gifted to us. And in other parts of the room, you're going to find some things that are a lot more affordable. Obviously, I'm all about achieving the luxe look for less, so I wanted to have some more affordable pieces, but in other places we splurge because we wanted this room to really reflect our style and be nice and homey for our guests. Let's start over here in this corner. Before, this was an empty corner full of junk. I shouldn't have even said empty. As you would have seen in the before clips, this entire room was just a junk room. So what we decided to do here was put this huge faux olive tree in this really nice vessel. So this olive tree is from Crate and & Barrel, and we decided to go with this one because this is the best faux olive tree on the market, in my opinion. Um, it is pretty expensive, but it's seven feet tall, and with this vase, I was actually able to raise it up and make it eight feet. So it adds a lot of height to the room. Room. And since these ceilings are 16 feet tall, we wanted something that took up some of that space. But since our design is a little bit more modern, low profile is kind of in. So adding some different heights really helps enhance the space. Now, what I did here is I actually put some trash underneath this tree to raise it up. And then I put some moss on top to give it more of a real look. Obviously, we all know it's faux. There are no windows in here that actually provide light, so it had to be faux. But I really like this addition to the room because it adds a pop of green to our otherwise very simple color palette. That's just how we like it. As you know, the bed is the Brock poster bed from our house, and that was really fortunately gifted to us. And when I actually reached out to our house about this project, I really wanted to show that our house has modern items. You just need to know where to look for them. So this is their brand new Brock poster bed. And I, what I really like about it is it has the ode to the traditional because it has the four posters, just like you'd see in a traditional canopy bed, but there is no true canopy. It is a poster bed. And then they have these really nice clean line cutouts that has that modern edge and it is really really low profile like actually the bed only comes up to really just above my ankle so you get like that traditional kind of shape but it also has some modern elements which I really enjoy what we did is we took this Brock poster bed and we paired it with striations one and two which are also um, pieces from our house and again I took something that was a little bit more traditional and I paired it with something a lot more modern for the bedside area we also um, went with something really modern right we wanted to always contrast the really formal traditional shape of the bed so we went with these um, bisque side tables from CB2 and then on top we put these stainless steel um, lamps that they added some height even though the throw tables themselves I mean the um, side tables themselves are really low profile and above that we did mirrors obviously we always want to make our spaces feel larger and that's what mirrors do and the mirrors also presented an opportunity to introduce a new shape to the room because they are oval mirrors and these mirrors were super affordable they were $60 a piece from Bed Bath & Beyond um, and they were super easy to mount now absolutely everything on this side of the room was a save sort of situation um, we wanted to save money here so we got this mantle off of Facebook marketplace you saw early in this video we um, painted it and kind of made it look nice and fancy. The lady thought that it was like only worth $300 on first dibs is $3,000, but I wasn't going to fight with her. She was dying to get it out of her house. So we said, thank you. So we just gave it actually the same coat of paint that we gave the walls because we wanted it to kind of really um, 
fall in with the wall, but add some detailing. And this is more of like, um, again, a more traditional ode, which we love. Initially, we were like, should we put marble back there? Should we put tile back there? Try and make it look like a real fireplace. It's not a real fireplace. So what we decided to do was just leave it open and we're really, really happy with that, I think. In terms of decor, we saved a lot here too. The star of the show is the um, Primrose Mirror from Anthropology. Here in Pittsburgh, we do have the Anthropology Home Outlet. So they always have everything on super sale. So this mirror, I think originally was maybe $500, something to that effect. And I think we got it for like 200 or 150. This pot and these two pots over there are both from at home stores. They were actually in the garden section. That is always one of my tips. Go to the garden section and look for decor. Um, this one was $6, that one was $15, this one was like 10 or so dollars. Really, really, really cheap. Vase is probably the most expensive thing here. It's from the Leanne Ford collection from Crate and Barrel, and I broke it quite literally the second I walked in the home, so I was really upset about that. There's a whole hole in the back of it, but I just turned it around. No one needs to know, unless you guys come stay at my house, then you'll know. Um, and then I just put a branch in there. I wanted an ode to the natural and the outdoors, but again, I don't have any real branches. I don't have an outdoor space. I don't want to deal with bugs, so I just use that. It's from Michael's. I've had it sitting around and I'm happy with that choice. We have this frame here. You're like, oh, what a nice piece of artwork. Wrong. So West Elm had some of their really nice frames on sale. These ones are on super sale. No one wanted them. So this is just a normal picture frame. And this is like the piece that they put in there to like advertise the frame to you. I said, I like it. Let's just keep it as is. So that's what I did and I'm happy with it. And it brought some gold over here. It's a little bit more of a gaudy gold than I'm used to, but I kind of like the pop. And as you'll see, as we walk more through the room, the dresser that we got, which is also the Brock dresser that goes with this bed from our house has some brass gold in it. So we just wanted to tie that in. Now, this is the Brock dresser, again, that goes right with the bed. And everyone's saying that in 2021, matching sets are out. I'm even saying it, but when it came to this bed, I don't know, they just seem so different to me. I was like, it's totally fine. And I wanted to make sure I got the exact same black because I'm that person who will like stare at someone wearing all black and I'm like, well, that's black, black, that's blue, black, that's purple, black, that's gray, black. I didn't want that in this room, um, at least in terms of the furniture. So I got this dresser and it's just so luxe. As you've seen throughout this room, I am a huge fan of like the layering because I was really inspired by like Parisian home decor. Um, and that's my right. <laughs> that's kind of just where I was drawing inspiration. So I went in with some layered black and white artwork. And then on either side of the dresser, we do have two chairs just so that when someone comes over, you have somewhere to sit because you don't always want to sit in the bed. So we have two white Sherpa chairs that we made. Um, if you want to see how we made them, check out the video. I'll link it right here. Um, we made them a while ago using chairs from Ikea and they were really easy DIY, but we just have one chair on this side and we do have a gold cast light over top again to tie in the gold and just if you're sitting here reading you'll actually be able to see because our lighting isn't great in this room and then we have a white chair on the other side as well they're perfectly matching they have true black legs and then they have the white coloring but that is the room. This was such a fun project. This is a project that we really spent a lot of time thinking about um, because we wanted it to be homey, but we wanted it to be our ideal style. Um, we mixed a lot of high end and low end items. And I think Babe and I are really, really happy with how it turned out. I will be sure to link everything that I can down below. And please let me know if you have any questions about this room. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And until next time, have a beautiful day.